All right, everybody, welcome back to another x -Wall Gaming video. x -Wall here, and yes, today we have that more delicious salt that we can never get enough of, apparently, because they don't stop on the Xbox camp. So lots to share with you, lots to go over. So let's go ahead and have some fun with it, and let's go ahead and jump to it. All right, so like I was saying, what we do is we have some other salt examples today. It just never stops. The hypocrisy itself never stops. So let's start with our favorite one here. I keep saying favorite. It seems to shift a lot, but here we are, Colt Eastwood, as you can see here. Just recently, for some context, even in my last salt video, Salty Batch Files video, he was sitting there, and we had a video we shared, and it kind of went over how he was so upset and how Xbox isn't doing the right thing and they're trying to distract you and kind of had some negative things to say. Every once in a blue moon, he'll go off and say that. But then I told you, I said he's going to change his tune real soon. And as you can see here, out of the country for the first time ever in Amsterdam. Thanks to Bethesda for sending me out to celebrate 10 years with the Elder Scrolls Online. So now they send him out. They're paying this guy. They've been paying him in a myriad of ways, like I said. When somebody's out there saying that they don't buy influencers, that they don't buy support for shills and people to talk around and build things up, even though negative things are surrounding it in every way, shape, and form, here we have Bethesda, who is now Microsoft-owned, sending him out to celebrate the 10 years of Elder Scrolls Online. Yes, there's nothing shady about this whatsoever, folks. I'm sure he's going to come back, tell us the next game from Xbox is going to be 60 frames per second and the best thing you've ever played, hence his resolution video with Redfall. When he went out and tested that out, he said, this is great, the resolution's great, there's no hiccups, there's no this and that, it was a blast, can't wait to play it. Wait for the next one of his videos. So here's just a heads up we wanted to share there for some context. Now, what I want to pull up here is something that I thought was interesting. Mr. Aaron Greenberg, one of the figureheads of Xbox itself, thought this was a great little meme. He states, 60 frames per second will be the standard output, but the architecture allows us to support up to 120 frames per second. Yes, up to 120 frames per second. So for context sake, the biggest thing going around, if you haven't been on social media, is Hellblade 2 around the corner of being released essentially so all the xbox fanboys are eating that up that's the next latest and greatest thing even though they dislike third person narrative driven adventures even though this is only eight hours is going to be done in a weekend they are praising this to the moon but the funny part is this is only going to be 30 frames per second it's a design choice a cinematic choice to make it look more cinematic if you will so as you can state, Redfall will be locked to 30 frames per second. Starfield will run at 30 frames per second. Hellblade 2 will be 30 frames per second and only on Xbox consoles. It will be interesting. There's a lot of rumor going around that this game's heading out to other platforms as well. It will be interesting if there is a later on patch when that does happen on if there will be higher than 30 frames per second. But like I said, the marketing and everybody is just full of lies all the time. All the time. It's certainly one side. I'm not saying Sony's perfect and hasn't fibbed their white light or this and that. And we'll get to that. But the fact still remains how heavily one-sided it is. Here's more facts. We continue to do that. What's I do? What do I do? I present those facts to you, to the audience out there, so you can see with your own two eyes, isn't photoshopped, isn't doctored, anything like that. Here we have Tom Warren, again, Xbox-centric. Sea of Thieves on PS5 will include 4K 60 frames per second, 1080p 120 frames per second modes, along with full DualSense support for adaptive triggers and haptic feedback. There will be more than 250 trophies to collect, too. That's, that's a lot of trophies, and I do love my trophies, so that's, that's a win there. But down below, Maurice. <laughs> Maurice, I'm sorry. Every time I see Sea of Thieves, PS5... It just pisses me off even more. Well, there's something you guys could have done about that, and that is buy your games, support your platform and ecosystem, but lo and behold, here we are. It pisses you off because you're a shill. 
because you're an eccentric fan. I get it. Again, the frustration's there. If I was in the other shoe on the other foot and I was with a company and they started doing this, I'd be a little upset as well, considering I put all my time, effort, and money into it. But again, everybody's been telling you nonstop, buy your games, don't rely on Game Pass. Again, Microsoft had a hand in that. We talked about it many times before, but the fact still remains. Buy your games. This is not going to be the end of it, and it's going to continue. So either A, you accept it, B, you go full on PC, or C, you go to another console that actually has exclusives and values your time and effort because it's a more healthy ecosystem. The choice is yours. But let's keep going here. Post up. <laughs> Talking about the 30 frames, 60 frames per second, all that stuff. Xbox Series X optimized game will play at 4K 120 frames per second. The base setting for the console is 60 frames per second. So you're never, never, let me emphasize that, going to go lower than that. 30 frames per second games are dead, at least for the Xbox Series X. Now, post up a little bit of context. He is indeed a flat earther. If you're a flat earther, I'm sorry, I do have to say that, but number two, he's always creating this stuff. Now, he did come back and had a rebuttal <laughs> on this, and he came back and he said, I, I got this from a quote, I didn't specifically say that. Bro's out here looking like he is shaggy himself, wasn't me. Got me red-handed, wasn't me. He's sitting there acting like shaggy. Who does he all think everybody is out there that we don't know what you're posting? You posted this. You firmly believe in it. You didn't put quotation marks around it either. You wanted that verbatim to be true. You thought it to be true. You shared that because you wanted it and thought it to be true. So don't act there pretending to be shaggy. There's only one shaggy, and that's not you, by my guy. So what are you going to do about that? You got caught red-handed, buddy. It was you. Let's continue on here. Kareem. Mm. This is where I say, when we say our favorite shill, our favorite liar, our favorite eccentric fanboy, our favorite bot, if you will, it's tough because we have great front runners like Cold Eastwood. But at least in his defense, he's actually getting bought out by Microsoft. They're constantly doing that sort of stuff for him because he's one of the main faces of it, right? And he has a big following. I'll give him that piece of it, but he's still a shill. He's still a fraud and a fake. Well, so is Kareem here, but he's trying his darndest to do everything he possibly can to lie. Now, the biggest lie in video game history, and he shows the, X, or he shows the PlayStation 5 with the 8K, stating that that's a lie. It can't hit 8K, it does it in no way, shape, or form. Well. A, he's incorrect. Now, is it a little bit misleading? Absolutely. I'm not going to lie for you guys out there in the audience. There is only one game that can get to 8K, and that is The Tourist. This is pretty much a really low effort um, game in regards to graphical superiority. We're not getting The Last of Us graphics on there, Hellblade 2 graphics on there, The Order 1886. We're getting pretty much, it feels like a 16-bit, or I'll give it a 64-bit type of game. Real simplified, not saying the game itself is bad, but there's a reason why it's 8K. So technically, technically, they aren't lying. There are games that could, depending on the developer, depending on the type of game, that this could hit 8K. So technically, they're not wrong. The shady part is, folks, and I'll be honest with you, is it's not often. We have one game. Now, the other piece of this I'm gonna put up here though, is look at that. He fails to mention that the Xbox Series X happens to have the same thing. 8K on the box, touting that, advertising it. Now, what are we thinking here? The Xbox Series X doesn't have the game The Tourist on there. There's not one game on the Xbox Series X that has 8K capabilities or is 8K. So who's the real lying one here? If we're gonna do tomatoes, tomatoes, Xbox Series X is technically in the wrong and that's the where 
the advertisement's a flat out lie. Now again, PlayStation, a little bit shady, one game. You know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? It's not great, but on the other hand, if you're gonna call something out, Kareem, who blocks everybody, especially after you got made fun of and called out by Jeff Keighley himself. Check out the past video, guys, in the Salty Batch Files. He got called out. If you missed it, it's great. And he blocked everybody under the sun because they were calling him out on it. He got called out by Jeff Keighley and even Tom Warren himself. And he continues to do this. And I got something sent to me today in addition to this as well. Pathetic. I may have to go over that as well in another video. But this, he just doesn't stop. The ultimate fraud, the ultimate shill, doesn't play games. And I don't know why. Just for the engagement. Just for the engagement, folks. But he, the people like this, if you are on social media, need to be called out. And they need to be called out of the lies. And they need to be aware of that nobody's going to be falling for that crap. But I digress. Let's continue on here. Now, <laughs> the new legal here. Another bonehead. Again, Helldivers 2 will be coming to Xbox. Three 100% emojis. Oh, man. Helldivers alerts. We need the reinforcements. We need the Xbox citizens. Now, in case you are unaware, folks, Helldivers alerts is not an official Helldivers account, studio account, developer account, nothing like that. It's just a fan account. Helldivers 2, at this point in time, has absolutely negative percentage of going over to the Xbox consoles. There's no reason for it. It's beyond successful via PC and PlayStation 5. The sales and the player count speak for themselves. There's absolutely zero reason to go to Xbox. So here he is spreading FUD. That's what the Xbox eccentrics and fanboys do. They spread lies and FUD. Thought we should share that for you there. I think it's pretty low. Port begging at its finest, you name it. But here we are. They gotta spread those lies, right? Let's uh, get to one more here from Clobril. Now, this was posted a while ago. But now, just again, 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, 120 frames per second. He states, I won't play 30 frames per second games in 2020 or after. Period. Oh, man. Here we are in 2024, and he's going to be playing Hellblade 2. That's 30 frames per second. Starfield, he's been playing. You name it. A very, very Xbox-eccentric fanboy right here, Clobril. We all know that. And the things they say, they get caught red-handed. They, they, the receipts are everywhere. You post something online, that's why you have to be so careful. And they, they are so arrogant about it that they think they won't become receipts later on. I, I do my best, and at this point in time, knock on any sort of wood... <laughs> that I try not to state something that's going to come back and bite me that is incorrect or if I embellish something. It's just not worth it, in my opinion, especially if you are out there making some sort of content, if you have a big following. It's just not worth it. And, A, above all, I don't believe in lying to the audience. I mean, you owe it to your audience to be 100% real and factual. They, if you don't get that from the people that you follow, definitely look into it a little further because that's only going to be a detriment to yourself. Whether it's false hype, whether it's false information, the list goes on and on. Just make sure who you do follow gives you the facts. Doesn't beat around the bush. You can be a fan all you want, but just be upfront and honest about stuff. This sort of thing, if we as we've had multiple examples of, is just truly pathetic. But... Let's get over to the final piece of information here. I do have a quick video. I'm not 100% sure who this is from, so if you know who this is, definitely let me know down in the comments below. But this was shared, and I thought I'd share it as well because it's a good point. Here you go. You buy a console just to play that exclusive, right? You play Mario. If you want to switch, you play Mario, Kirby, freaking Zelda, all those type of games because it's exclusive to that console. Same thing with freaking PS5, Horizon, God of War, all that type of stuff. I know it goes on a PC, but you but just say you mostly buy that console just to play, play buy that, those games just to play on those consoles, right? Same thing with Xbox with Halo, freaking Gears, Forza, all that type of stuff. What what is the freaking point? If you're gonna put port this stuff to the PS5. I don't know about these two games yet, but might as well. What what what's the freaking point? 
So yes, as you can see, another Xbox fan, I won't even call him a fanboy because I don't know him that well, another Xbox fan that has a great point. If you don't have exclusives on your platform, what's the point? What's the point? And that's 100% actually factual. I've had a lot of comments down in my comments in my latest videos for Salty Batch Files in particular. Very upset fans that there are exclusive games. Now, it's okay if the games are exclusive as if it's on the Xbox console, but if it's on PC only or PlayStation only, it's mainly them saying PlayStation only. They, they don't even mention anything on PlayStation, whether it's the latest Bayonetta, whether it's the Mario game, Zelda, Metroid, any other game that might be exclusive to the Switch platform or Nintendo platforms, they're okay with that. But when it comes to PlayStation, how dare they? How dare they have exclusive first-party content? How dare they have exclusive third-party content? Microsoft's the one with all the money here. Why don't they do exclusive third-party content? Because at this point in time, let me answer that question, this point in time is too little too late. They're gonna have to sink that even further. They might, eventually, possibly before it's too, too late. Too, too late, I'll emphasize that again. They might have a small window, but they just don't seem like they're doing that. They've had the money to do this. Instead, they think if they just buy and acquire and have acquisitions, that that's gonna innate more sales for the platform. That's not gonna happen. We've seen it with the Bethesda games already. Um, <laughs> we're seeing it with the other games they've had. Uh, we'll see what happens with the future games they have. It's just not lucrative for them as a business. And they pushed on Game Pass so hard, and here we are. But the fact still remains, ecosystems remain even healthier with exclusive content. It creates competition, it creates better quality, quality games, and it gives you a reason to own that particular platform. There's way more pros than cons for having exclusive content to your games and platform. So, that being said, I appreciate everybody sticking around for this. Of course, at this point in time, we have 1,592 subscribers out of that 2,000 goal. We're continuing to climb. Thank you all so, so much. I appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoy the Salty Batch Files and the other content and reviews and everything that does come out. Appreciate that so much. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below. This helps out the algorithm so much on the video, so thank you again. If you haven't already, definitely consider subscribing, helping out a small content creator like myself. And with that being said, just remember, don't be a salty batch. And we'll see you guys next time on the next X-Wall Gaming video. Take care.